We've introduced a chair. We've introduced a car seat. We've introduced the Texas-sized lounger, if you will. And we've simply become more sedentary. The research is just now coming out that sitting now is defined as the new smoking. Now, years ago, no one really thought smoking was harmful. Today, we know otherwise. It's really hard for me to fathom that sitting in a chair with my feet propped up is harmful because it feels so good. But the, the answer behind all that is that most of the things that do feel good aren't good for us. We simply sit too much. We're not as active as we need to be. In today's world, it may be that the person's day-to-day -day activities are very narrow, very myopic, very focused in just a sagittal plane. So there's not much movement from side to side. There's not much movement in our shoulders. There's not much movement in our hips. And you don't have to go very far to see the number of people, adults especially, that are suffering shoulder problems and hip problems. They're being replaced nearly, now we have complete and total shoulder replacement. There's a reason why we have breaks. The typical hour is 50 minutes with a 10 minute break. Well, the idea is to get up and move around. People today don't leave their office very well or their desk for lunch break. In school today, children's lunches oftentimes are only 20 minutes. They can't talk to each other and they can't go outside. So we've, we've really compromised the physical engagement of each other. And by doing that, we have sacrificed the tone of our spine, which as chiropractors leads a whole lot of people out there which are now subluxated. But we have more children, we have more people going to therapy, going to rehab, when we kind of need to bring back the element of play. Families need to ride their bikes together. Families need to go to the parks. We have cities that are doing phenomenal work on improving green spaces, but we're not getting the people there. And we're in a world right now where people admit to you that they are stressed out, they're overwhelmed, and there's no time for anything else. But yet, exercise has been shown to be as effective, if not even more effective, than most medications for blood pressure, for ADHD, for mental illness. Like if you look at the statistics, just right now, there is more proof that if you just went out and walked today, that there is better results in just walking and exercising than any pharmaceutical trial ever done on any drug ever for depression. In fact, if you look at the studies, there's actually never been studies done for very long at all. We all know that different things, diet and exercise, definitely work. Unfortunately, we live in a society where we want that quick fix, right? We don't want to have to do the hard work. Everybody wants to be skinny and they want to be beautiful and they want to be healthy, but nobody is willing to take the steps to get there. And if somebody's promising them that they can have this magic potion and this pill, then why wouldn't they do that?